since fillanypdf.com has give, been giving us a few fits, I thought I'd try to find something that might work as well. pdfescape.com is what I found, and here's how to use it. You click in the middle for click here to use PDF Escape now for free. Once you get there, it tells you, whoops, you're an unregistered user, but you're just going to click open. Upload a PDF to PDF Escape and browse. On my desktop, I have a random PDF. It's actually just a camp application. All right, once it's uploaded, I'm going to find where it says text. Click on that, and then I'm going to go put my cursor where I'd like my text to go. In this case, I'm just using this as an example. So I'm going to click right here and just type in te sample text. Once I'm done with that, I'll click on the, the blue Save button, and then the green Download, Save and Download. It will give me the option to open with Adobe Acrobat or just save the file. I'll click on Save, and once I get to my desktop, I'll make a, a name for it. and it will save on my desktop. Once I close my internet window, I can see that my sample text is right here and I can upload it to my teacher. I hope this helps, thank you. Since fillanypdf.com has given us a few fits, I decided to go out there and find something that might work as well. I found pdfescape.com and here's how to use it. You start by clicking in the middle where it says click here to use PDF Escape Now free. Once you get to the next screen, it warns you that you're not a registered user, blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to go up and click Open. And this is where I'm going to say Upload PDF to PDF Escape. And I'm going to browse. On my desktop, I just have a random PDF I'll use as an example. And I'll click Upload. Once it's uploaded, I go over and click on Text up here in the upper left to add text. And I'm just going to put my cursor somewhere random and add some sample text. Obviously you would go and put it where you need to put it in your worksheet. Once you're done with that you're going to click on the blue uh, save button and done with that you're going to click on the green download button. It's going to give you the option to either open with Adobe Acrobat or save the file. I'm going to go ahead and save and I'm going to rename my file so it doesn't get rid of my original PDF and click save. Once that's saved, I'll go back to my desktop and I can see it right here and I'm ready to